What's up, guys? It's me, your bandit host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, alrighty, let's do this. We are in Fortree City, and we already took a visit, and, uh, yeah, we have a few things going on right here. I mean, can't get to the gym. There's something blocking the way. I mean, crud. What's a guy to do to get around here? Shoot. So we're going to go to Route 120 to actually get this whole thing situated, because there, there might be something going on around there. I don't even know. We're just going to go there just because. Shits and giggles. You know, that kind of stuff. So here we go. Route 120, right here to the east. Hope I'm getting it right. These never eat soggy. Yes, that's right. Never eat soggy waffles. And we're going to be battling a few trainers along the way. You know, there's you know a few trainers waiting for us all, all around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to be switching it up and, uh, you know, destroying everybody because I am absolutely living so there we go parasol girl I guess why am I carrying a parasol tell me you if you are tell or I'll tell you if you can win against me well still trying to learn how to read or something like that that's right Draven is illiterate don't judge me so there we go parasol lady Clarissa coming out and she's coming out with her Roselia so I, I picked the right Pokemon I picked the right Pokemon for the job right here so let's do this Raphael Go with the flamethrower, because he's a flamethrower. That's right, flamethrower does it, does the job. Yeah, this tortoise don't lie right here. And guy uh, getting some more experience points. And here she's coming out with her Whelmer, so she's got a nice combination of Pokemon right here. And let's go with uh, Raiden right here. Raiden, look at that. Raiden looking like a beast, a real beast. Alrighty, so here we go. Going with the shockwave right now, and uh, that's right, you're gonna be facing the, the full extent of my power right here. Shockwave for the win. Eat it, Whelmer. That's right. And uh, Raiden, of course, getting experience points. And Clarissa has been defeated, so she now gets to tell me about, you know, why she wins. And she's like, a parasol can't ward off Pokemon attacks. Okay. So, why do you use a parasol? I don't think strong sunlight is good for my Pokemon, so I shield them with my parasol. Okay. I'm just gonna walk away. Let's see, there's a Pokeball right there, and wow! There's something unseeable. Really? <sighs> oh, come on. What the heck is going on here? There's like unseeable things right here. So here we are, Route 120 to Fort Tree City, and you can actually find uh, some interesting Pokemon right here, and uh, another secret base area. Actually, two secret base areas. And, uh, well, this is also an area right here where you can actually find an interesting Pokemon. And, you know, there's going to be a little bit of an alert right now because, hey, there is an interesting Pokemon here that I want to capture. And, uh, that's not it. That's not it. My Yenna, no. I think I already have a, a, a my Yenna or something like that. I don't know. I don't even know. But I'm going to uh, escape here because, oh, wow, he's faster than us. And, no, the white, seriously, don't, can't you see the white smoke? prevents those attacks all right and uh, if you guys remember look at that our good old buddies uh, the reporter team right here I'm actually going to switch it up let me see let me switch it up right here with Shroomly and let's go right ahead and uh, take care of this business oh you're Draven hi do you remember us from last time can you show us how much stronger you've become okay cue interview alrighty let's do this bring it on so here we go, interviewer Gabby and Ty would like to battle, and yes, they their Pokemon have grown a lot. Look at that. Level 30 Magneton and a level 30 Loudred. Remember guys, these guys are uh, like, these two people are very good for battle, or just to increase your, uh, your experience points and all that stuff. They're very good people to actually battle, and you know, I'm just gonna go with the Mach Punch right here. I'm gonna finish you guys off pretty quickly. That's right, no more Loudred. Eventually, that Loudred will evolve into an Exploud, and that's where the whole good experience comes from. So if you do have a Pokemon with the experience here, these people, you know, you can battle you can battle them every single time. They never go away. And they, they're gonna be at the same exact spots, three spots only. And uh, just like that, no more interviewers. He's like, that was an intense battle. Did you get all that on camera? Yes, I did. Alrighty. And she's like, better. Remember that quote you gave us uh, gave us as the battle clincher last time? I never, ever forget stuff like that. That last time we battled, you stumped us before we could even brace ourselves. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want to get an interview again? I guess. I don't know. Maybe. 
Oh, let's see. Let's see what the clincher is. I just realized this because I'm going back and playing Pokemon Auras and all that stuff, guys. I remember in Pokemon Auras, you can actually do things. Like, you can actually respond for yourself. I know some of you guys out there like to put in some bad words and all that stuff. Well, they got a little bit of a... What you call it? Uh, they they got a little bit of a, a filter right there, so you can't really use bad words, but you have to be a little more eccentric with the how you're gonna name it. And I usually went with Gattaca or something like that. I don't even know. And uh, let's see. I should I should say chores because it it has become a chore to actually battle these people. Let's see. Um. Let's see. Lessons, life, living, hail, mail, message, money, phone, popular, radio, rental, school. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna put work. It has been work battling you guys. Okay, that's the clincher. She's like, hmm, yeah, that's a perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will make a great TV show. There's a chance that they'll air this on TV, so make sure to look out for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you soon. Okay, alrighty. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know. Okay, so we got a we got another Pokemon trainer right here. We're gonna be battling him. Um, he looks like a bird trainer, so let's go ahead and switch him up with Raiden. And uh, here we go. My Pokemon is strong. How about yours? I don't know. They're, they're, they're decent at best. I don't even know. So here we go. Bird Keeper Robert wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Swablu. Not even a Dragon-type Pokemon, man. Come on, just evolve it. Here we go. Spark Attack. Look at this. Sparky. Reminds me of Sparky, my Pikachu. Back in Kanto, you know. Man Pokemon right there, and uh, say goodbye to Swablu, Gaia, and everybody else is just, you know, increasing the level, and he's like, yeah, if your Pokemon were a little stronger, I'm sorry, buddy. And he does give us his phone number, which means he will get stronger eventually. And, uh, okay, so we're crossing this bridge right here. I will get that Pokeball eventually. And, uh, would you look at that? It's Steven Stone now, like, look at that! No, we can't move anywhere, what the hell? Okay, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hmm. Draven, hi, it's been a while. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I or if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle, no, no, rather rather than describing it, I should just show you. Or I should just show you that that would be more fun. Draven, are your Pokemon ready for battle? I guess so. I don't know, let's go. Draven, show me your true power as a trainer. And of course, he used the Devon Scope, and an invisible Pokemon be uh, became completely visible. And it started the Pokemon, and, it's, and he attacked. Holy crud. So here he is. It's a Kecleon. Of course, you can capture uh, Kecleon around here. Um, it doesn't ne necessarily need to be invisible, it's just, you know, you can find him around here. And uh, one big thing about Kecleon, it has that color change uh, e effect. Basically, any kind of uh, type move or anything like that, it will change to that. Yeah, it will change into that 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 element or whatever you know that style or whatever. I don't even know how to say it, but let's go ahead and go with Shockwave. Hopefully, Raiden doesn't destroy him. Just so, just to show you guys the, the whole color change technique here. As you can see, it changed into an Electric type Pokemon now. So now our Electric type moves won't really work at all. So let's go back to the return right here. Of course. If Kecleon survives this, it goes back to the normal type, so... Of course, it doesn't survive, but it will do that. And, uh, yep, there we go. Guy of the Fierce Knight gets everything. It disappears, and he's like, I see, your battle style is intriguing! Your Pokémon have obviously grown since I first met you in Doofer. I'd like you to have this Devon Scope. Who knows? There may be other Poke uh, other concealed Pokémon. So here it is, guys, we got the Devon Scope, and, uh, yeah! Draven. I enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're go you're doing great. Well, let us meet somewhere again. And uh, he just disappears just like that. Holy crud. I won't be going any further. Uh, there are a few... Yeah, since we already know it's a Kecleon, let's go ahead and get that Pokeball right there. And uh, I wonder what Pokemon we're going to be finding here. Ooh, look at that. It's a, po it's a Pika Blue. Or I mean a Meryl. You know, just the other day, I was actually playing Pokemon uh, Oras. I did, I did try to breed a Ditto with a Azuro. That's right. I completely forgot to put in what the C Incense to actually get that uh, Azumarill or whatever it is or Azuro. Yeah, yeah. What did I say before? I breeded or 
I bred a Ditto and a Zoomeral. Yeah, there we go. To get an, Azu an Azuril. Unfortunately, I forgot the C instance. Breeded them, got the egg, and next thing you know, I was one of the lucky ones. I got myself a shiny Meryl, and I was surprised. I was both confused and surprised. I was like, wait, the hell? Why did I get a Meryl? It didn't work? Crap, I didn't put the C instance. Holy shit, I got a shiny Meryl. That's pretty awesome. So that was like the first time ever that I got a shiny Pokemon off an egg. So, yeah, true story, guys. I probably will be showing that on the, the Instagram or something like that. And here we have an Oddish. Uh, nothing different right here. And uh, I'm going to leave this because I don't want to battle you. And uh, we're going to get that Pokeball right here. So something in Seabull's in the way. Want to use the Devon Scope? Heck yes. And that invincible Pokemon got startled. And he's attacking. Holy crud. Alrighty. Bring it. Just bring it, Kecleon. I think I might capture this Pokemon. Not for, like, you know, bucket list reasons. I just want to capture him. At least say that I have one. So let's go with the Spark Attack. That's right. Let's get that Spark Attack. You're an Electric-type Pokemon now. And, wow. Completely forgot this Pokemon new uh, Psybeam. Pretty good Pokemon. I actually tried using him one time. When I, back when I was playing Pokemon Sapphire. And uh, here we go with the Return Attack. Nearly, uh, yeah, nearly makes it faint, but it's now a normal type, which is good, I guess. And, uh, okay, let's go with that bag. And let's go ahead and try and capture this Pokemon with some kind of Pokeball. So, let's see. Um, let's go with a Great Ball. And I have to sneeze. <laughs> That's right. I just sneezed. Thank you guys for your bless you and all that stuff. And there we go. Kecleon got caught. That's right, you got caught, click, click Leon. And I, wow, press that button completely, yeah, just quick, yeah, wow. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna go onto the Pokedex. I'm very, very sorry, guys, I, yeah, I pressed that button a little too quickly right there. And, uh, let's see, where is the click Leon? There you are, click Leon. Alrighty. So, Kecleon, the color swap Pokemon, a Pokemon that has the ability to alter its body colors to match the surroundings. A Kecleon reverts to its original colors if it is startled. Okay, alrighty. And the cool thing about this is, like, look at that. Sound waves. Look at that. That's cool. And its size comparison to us. It's shorter to us. I mean, I'm 5'10 in real life. I don't even know. Right. Alrighty, so as you can see, spot right there. I think we can surf right there. Grab this right there. We've got a nest ball, and I think I should surf. You know what? I'm gonna surf. See what's up. I can surf right now. I'm gonna use a super repel because I don't want to get messed with uh well with the sea Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and take a look at what we got right here. So there's a little cave right there. And uh let's see, this is the scorch slab, and there's Nothing. Wow. Okay. And we get ourselves a TM11, which is Sunny Day. A very good move to actually, you know, alter any kind of fire type moves. Or, you know, skip a move or skip a, uh, a move for Solar Beam, if you guys know what I mean. In Pokemon Oraz, this place gets a little bit more expanded. They even put in a legendary Pokemon in there. Just, you know, for kicks and all that stuff. And uh, I think that's the end of Route 120. Why is this place a little bit different than the most oceans or rivers and all that stuff? Look at that. Look at that. You can see us skipping right here. I don't even know why we're skipping. I don't even know. Okay. Alrighty. So that's pretty much it right there, guys. I'm going to... Well, after we defeat the gym leader, we're going to go back right here. And I'm probably going to just... You know, I'm going to bring a Pokemon that knows cut and all that stuff. So... That's pretty much it. So here we are, guys, in Fortree City, and uh, let's go ahead and scare this Pokemon right here. So, let's see. Something unseeable is in the way. Want to use the Devon Scope? Let's do that. And the invisible Pokemon became invisible. It started a Pokemon, and it fled. I don't know if you get to find them ever again. Let's see. Can you? I don't even know. I don't even know. And I did not want to do that. Okay, so let's go right ahead and... Uh, Finish this episode off right here, I guess. Yeah, let's finish this episode right here. So, thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, there will be a small surprise for you guys. I hope you're excited. It's going to be fun. I'll tell you that right now. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.